is uh, here now for a look at our theater preview. Good morning, Francine. Good morning, Lauren. Yes, we have such great theater here in San Diego, and we have a variety of shows uh, going on this week. So from Christmas shows uh, to some classics. So here to tell us more about it is uh, our expert, theater expert girl, Joey Landwer. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good. Um, so tell us, I mean, we have a little bit of everything from a play to comedy to we musical. Do. So let's start with A Doll's House Part 2. Yes, yeah, it's very diverse this, this weekend, that's yeah. for sure. So the uh, Doll's House Part 2, it's uh, down at the San Diego Repertory Theater downtown. It's now through December 16th. Uh, a Doll's House was originally written by Hedrick, Henrik Ibsen in 1879. So 138 year late, eight, 38 years later, they do the sequel. <laughs> and uh, it was nominated for uh, eight Tony Awards in 2017. So 15 years ago, Nora walked out the same door uh, that uh, behind left, left her husband and her children to pursue a life as a fiercely independent woman. And uh, Nora now writes scandalous novels and encourages women to break free from the bonds of marriage. And then when a judge black blackmails her, she comes back to ask for help from her family. So it was really one of the first major plays to talk about uh, women's independence I I with marriage and dealing with men. So, oh, great. In 1879. 1879. <laughs> and in yeah. 138 years later, it comes back. Yeah. Right? And with so has the same staying power. All right. So the next one is a comedy in Christmas seat for the season. Yes, th th this is so much fun. So this is called Every Christmas Story Ever Told and Then Some. So over our friends over at Patio Playhouse in Escondido, uh, this is through December 16th. So instead of performing Charles Dickens' holiday classic for the umpteenth time, three actors decide to perform every Christmas story ever told, plus Christmas traditions from around the world, season icons, uh, ancient oh times to topical <laughs> pop culture, and every carol ever sung. Oh my goodness. It, it looks hilarious oh just by looking at the video. <laughs> it is so much fun. These three actors actors are hilarious together. They work well together. And uh, it's all uh, sort of audience interactive and they get to work together with that. And this particular theater, Patio Playhouse, is supporting and taking donations for Meals on Wheels. So it's also wow. a charitable donation okay. you can so be a part of as well. That's great. So, One of those actors looks like uh, Zac Efron. Did you notice that? I did not notice that, oh, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's Zac Efron. No, it's not. But, that's but it, a compliment to him. Bit, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, just for that, I'm going to that one. That's right. <laughs> All right, so the next one is a musical. Uh, yes, uh, one of the famous uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. It's at Coronado Playhouse. Uh, it's now, it was just extended through December 23rd. Uh, it's the ultimate story of parental favoritism and sibling rivalry. So it's one of the most enduring musicals of the last 50 years. Uh, it's an irresistible family show uh, with trials and triumphs of Joseph, which is Israel's favorite son. It's the first collaboration with uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice. Oh, wow. And it blends pop and country and rock and it's such a fun biblical uh, story oh, uh, I love it. so and Coronado Playhouse they always do such great shows my friend yeah. Mike Anthony uh, is the music director and he's phenomenal. If he's behind the baton, you know it's going to be a great evening. It looks like theater. a great production. It's so much fun. And they never disappoint, that's for sure. They I mean, never they do, do great productions. Yeah, and they're, again, this holiday season, they're another one of our theaters that are partnering with the Bannister Family House for the holiday season and, and hoping that you'll support this new charity for them. I love the charity, yeah. yeah it's a great. great cause. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Thank for being with us. Stay warm. I know you're like, you're, are it's you freezing? Cold. I've acclimated to San Diego. <laughs> it's freezing outside. Right. For, for our standards, right? <laughs> it's right. freezing out there. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to see you next week. In the meantime, okay. we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be right back with more Good Morning San Diego. Grab your coffee and stay tuned.